Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Nineman with Nineman Chiropractic Clinic, and welcome to another week in our video blog series. Got kind of busy last week, uh, so we didn't get one shot, uh, and then this week is, uh, you know, the holiday week with Christmas on Wednesday. So uh, basically, we're, what we're going to do is film uh, a video blog today. It's going to kind of cover last weekend, this week, and what I want to talk about. It's, it's a perfect time of year to talk about this. Uh, it's very cold out. Um, you know, we're to the point where you know there's sometimes there's a chance for snow. Uh, so many of you will be outside snow shoveling. Uh, of course, you know some of us have snow blowers and, and some of us still shovel. So uh, for those of you who are shoveling, I want to talk about technique because snow shoveling is a way to really mess up your lower back. It's you know I, I have many patients come in with lower back pain saying they were shoveling, they really screwed up their back or their back went out. Um, so what I want to talk about, you know, one thing, and, and this is just biomechanics, but <clears throat> Obviously, you have discs, which are the pads in between your vertebra. And if you have a properly aligned spine, uh, you should have the proper amount of, of stress put, put on those discs to where you know, you're not going to injure them. You know, when you're properly aligned, you, there, there's going to be that normal stress on the disc. Uh, you know, obviously, putting abnormal stress on them could injure them. But when you're misaligned or subluxated, that puts an increased stress on the disc. And then when you compound that with a wrong movement or an improper lifting technique, that's when you can really, really have an injury or hurt a disc. So the two worst things you can do for, your, for your, the disc in your lower back, one is bending forward, which is, is known as forward flexion, uh, trunk flexion, and rotation. So those two together are like the double whammy uh, for your lower back, uh, specifically for the disc. Uh, there's been studies done on the disc in your spine. And again, uh, when there's forward flexion and rotation, it increases the load on the disc, you know, I don't know what the percent is that it increases by, but it's a lot. And so <clears throat> a lot of people when they shovel, they bend forward and then they, they rotate as they throw, you know, throw the snow off, off the sidewalk or the driveway. Uh, and again, that is, that is a, a perfect scenario to injure yourself. So the best thing you can do when you're shoveling, uh, you know, one easy way to do it is to actually just push it. You know, when, you, when you're going to shovel, just actually push it instead of just, instead of just uh, shoveling and throwing. You know, push it to like the edge of the sidewalk or driveway, then that's when you got to lift it up onto the grass. And at that point, you know, you've, you've probably heard this before, but bend with the knees, bend straight down, uh, you know, use your butt to lower, bend with the knees, do not bend forward, just squat straight down, lift the snow, and if possible, just try to throw it out in front of you. Uh, or if you have to move to the left or the right, instead of rotating and twisting, turn your whole body and then throw it out in front of you. So. Again, you want to eliminate that, that twisting or that rotation uh, and try to eliminate that forward flexion. Um, that's the best way you can shovel without injuring yourself. Uh, again, just to, to push the snow to the edge and then lift with the knees, bend straight down, keep your butt down, lift up and throw it out in front of you. Um, this may be able to help you know, save yourself. Um, you know, in this time of year, if you, if you know you're going to be doing some shoveling, you might as well come in and see me, see your chiropractor, get adjusted because again, you want to stay uh, you know, properly aligned, make sure that those uh, vertebrae are moving properly, make sure that those discs don't have abnormal pressure put on them so they're not prone to injury. So get in, get adjusted. Uh, you know, with this, with the holiday coming up, uh, if you're traveling, uh, celebrating the holiday, have a great holiday. Uh, enjoy your time off, and we'll see you back next week. Thank you.